And all of a sudden they're like, wait, these guys are really doing something here. There's a saying in DC, which is if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Education is the first step to good policymaking. For people who don't know a lot about crypto, they've often only read the bad headlines. So we need to counteract that narrative. In D.C., when people hear about crypto and blockchain, they automatically think about finance, they think about crypto bros. And when we're able to show them, hey, there are things that are being built here that have real-world implications, people are using phone plans, people are building maps, it's disarming. We're at the Capitol, we're a couple of deep in projects, and we came to talk to our representatives about the social and economic benefits of deploying deep in. Decentralized physical infrastructure, also known as deep in. A lot of them had never heard the term before. You could see this moment where the light flicked on. So that was an amazing experience to have that conversation with them and be the discovery moment. These representatives are particularly interested in how communities can team up to compete against the big tech giants and simultaneously how this can create new jobs for everybody in the community. GeoNet, for example, really helped small farmers to compete globally by allowing them to use our RTK data at a fractional price of what they are used to paying. For this innovative digital infrastructure to function, GeoNet depends on reliable blockchain networks. Blockchain provides the best way to bring this to everybody. I was able to say that over a million people a day are accessing the Helium network. DPIN is important for building resilient infrastructure simply because it comes with extra redundancy. A small business or a single family home, everybody kind of contributes a little bit. So that means you're not relying on any single operator. There's no single point of failure. Blockchain allows us to coordinate that build out and award those people commensurately for their contributions. At this time when Congress is trying to put the regulatory framework in place for the cryptocurrency ecosystem. DPIN is something that everyday people can use. This is something that policymakers care about because their constituents and their voters care about.